Okay, so let's talk about uh, using the verb edit software. If you have a verb camera plugged in, it'll automatically detect your camera and uh, go ahead and import footage from that. But for now, let's go ahead and just look at some of the video uh, that I've already taken. So I have one called test here. We'll hit the settings button to go into that. And automatically you can see here at the bottom of the screen, you have your clip library. These are all the clips that I've imported in the past. Um, and it's organized by, by time. And I believe you can also create folders as well, if I'm not mistaken. So up here we have our timeline for editing. And so here I have four different clips that I put together. Up here we just have our screen, obviously. And then this is our data overlay or GPS overlay screen over here. Um, just a quick um, point. You can use Google Maps or Bing. Bing is what is defaulted. Okay, let's go ahead and get set here. So obviously I used the Verb Elite, which pulled in the GPS automatically. You can still adjust the GPS if you feel like it's not quite accurate. Um, and how you do that is you find a spot on the video where, let's say, I get to this corner here, right there. And so then I can come, come over here, zoom in, and I can make sure that my GPS is right there at the corner, okay? So I lined it up, I found a corner here, and then I put it right at the right spot on the GPS, and then you just hit done. So that way you can have a precise GPS, make sure that your speed's right where it needs to be, your acceleration, braking, everything else is where it needs to be. If the GPS is wrong, you can always replace it with a different uh, GPS data. For example, if you have a Garmin Edge or a Garmin Watch, or any sort of GPS, it doesn't have to be Garmin, it does have to be a .gpx file, however. So you can replace that. And then you can also remove it as well if you don't want any of the overlays. And you can also hide. If you don't want it on, you can hide that as well. So just as far as the overlays go for mine, I have it set up for um, it's a custom one from Automotive that I found. And what it is, it has the speedometer here, lateral g-forces, and then just the braking and acceleration. Very basic. The map's up here as well. You can see that it's kind of cut up here, and that's because I have four different clips from four different spots on my map. So if you're recording one continuous loop of a maybe a racetrack or something, it would, it would be a continuous loop. So over here we can pick all the different templates, all the different types of overlays you want. The aviation ones are pretty sweet. You can see here, this is showing g-forces, this is height, uh, elevation, excuse me, and of course speed. And you can click through them. It's amazing really how quickly it's able to, to change and how quickly it's able to create and render these gauges. Of course, you can also have custom gauges. I've built one for cycling. It has temperature, heart rate, uh, cadence over here, and pace. So obviously it doesn't work that well for driving. I have one here that I built for a car and another one for cycling. So you can build you can build all kinds of it comes with a lot of them built in um, that you can switch between. So once you have everything set how you want it, hit the pause button here. Uh, once you have it all set, you can export it. You can create an HD video or a, a lower quality video. You can also export straight to YouTube if you want. Um, which is nice. Some of the downsides to the verb edit software, you can't put transitions, obviously. There's no way to put transitions between anything, and I haven't found any titles either. So unfortunately, you, there's very little you can do for these. Uh, you can see this should be nice and green, um, but there's no color correction or uh, saturation or anything like that. No options for that. You can edit the clips as far as you can trim the clips down, split clips, and you can speed clips up and change the volume. You can also add some music to it as well, um, but it really is just very minimal at this time. I have been told that they are working on updates, and I have gotten quite a few updates already, um, so I'm hoping that increased uh, features will be part of the oncoming updates. So stay tuned. I guess we'll see.